Good morning. For TradeX Exclusive, this is George Kachuk, or RCM Wealth Advisors, reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. What I'd like to talk about is the equity markets, the state of the equity markets, and what we can possibly expect uh, going forward. So first off, the market's in a confirmed uptrend. And the reason I'm telling you that is, last Wednesday we had a so-called follow-through day where the indices rode greater, greater than 1% and volume greater than the day before, but that also occurred five days after a possible bottoming day. And we haven't seen any distribution days since then. Distribution day is a day where we see higher volume selling. So as long as that's intact, the market may continue going forward. Now, just to make a note, November 7th, we had a similar kind of follow through day where the markets rose in big volume. However, they quickly failed because we did have quick distribution days following that the day after. And that's usually a bad sign. When you see such a big rally, you think the market's finally bottom. But it, if it can't hold that, it's not a good sign. So. Taking this in mind that we're in a confirmed uptrend, we talked about relative strength, looking at stocks that have relative strength, that were kind of tipping their hand. We talked about this the last few weeks, and those are the kind of stocks you want to be looking at. Now, what can we expect going forward? There's a lot of talk in the financial press, how we've come too far, too long, et cetera, et cetera. You need just to keep in mind, if we look at recent history, we had a huge, basically a 20-year, call it 18-year bull market from the 80s and the 90s to 2000. Well, that market actually bottomed in 1974, Reagan got elected in 80, and in 82 the market took a dip and then took off from there. So that's basically a very long period of, that we can run and could be very similar. Now also, this correction this year has a lot of similarities to 1994. We take a look at 1994, we had three legs down earlier in the year, rallied into new highs, and then again collapsed near the end of the year where the market fell three legs down, undercut, and from there it rallied on going forward. Now that doesn't mean it has to happen this year, but it's very similar. And what was also similar is right at the end of 1994, people thought the yield curve would invert. It didn't. Things corrected themselves and things got better. Similar, we see that happening now. Also, in 1994, the Fed made, did six rate hikes. At that time, it made, they flashed to the markets that they would probably only raise one more time in 1995. And the market anticipated that and started moving ahead of that. And that's exactly what happened. We got one more rate hike in 1995 and the market rallied on. And this follow-through day I talked about last Wednesday, that coincided with uh, Chairman Powell's remarks where the market interpreted it as like maybe only one more rate hike next year and the market took off off of that. So history doesn't repeat itself. Yes, it does rhyme. Doesn't mean it's going to happen this way. That's why I always say let price and volume be your guide. But I'm just mentioning these things, so just need to keep an open mind what the possibilities could be. So we're on a confirmed uptrend. You want to look at stocks with high relative strain and let price and volume be your guide. This is George Kachuk with RCM Wealth Advisors reporting to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago. Have a great trading week.